Hey everybody, this is Dr. Julie Quinn and I'm going to go over Module 5. Um, as you watch this video, you have probably finished Module 4. You've worked on summarizing without quoting or paraphrasing. Um, you've worked on building thesis statements and now the idea, and you've already actually in a prior um, module, I believe it was module three, you worked on building an outline of your analysis essay. All the assignments that you've done before now are pre-writing assignments. You haven't actually built a draft yet. And the draft that won't reflect any, like you won't reflect your writing notes, it won't reflect um, uh, your uh, journal or your analysis, but the ideas within could actually sort of populate your first draft. But you're not following the structure of anything with the exception of maybe the outline. Okay, so you've got four readings or four tasks this week. The first one is reading, it's 5-1 from outline to draft, and it's this idea that you're setting up a multi-paragraph essay, right, with an introduction paragraph and a conclusion. That's the frame that holds everything in together. Think of your academic writing a lot like a sandwich. The frame, the bread is really necessary, but all the good stuff's in the middle, right? The good stuff is the meat and the veggies and everything. So we have to prioritize all of the data and the evidence that's in the middle into multiple paragraphs. And remember, this is a three to four page final essay. This is more than a five paragraph essay, but thinking in those terms of, you know, um, three body paragraphs is okay to start, but you're probably going to have more than that in the end. Just keep that in mind. So you've got your first reading from outline to draft, and we talk about the T formula. This is a formula that will help you build body paragraphs. You know, you've got your topic sentence, and then you've got your evidence, and then you've got your analysis. And so say you're talking about the um, uh, multitasking um, article. You want to have, say, multitasking is particularly dangerous when you're driving heavy machinery. Topic sentence. Evidence data from within the article that you read and analysis, how this all ties into whether you felt like the author made a strong or weak argument. That's sort of your overarching thesis, because this is a, an analysis essay that focuses on deep reading a text. So in 122, you're not going to be using outside. You don't need any outside research that's outside of the article itself. You're showing how deeply you can understand a text and explain that one text to others. That comes in handy because uh, in 123 and beyond, you will be using outside sources and you need to be able to explain those texts to others. And so we're developing uh, a real good research skill for when you grab articles that you're going to borrow to make other outside arguments for, for classes. And you need to be able to use this process to evaluate the quality and, and, and the construction and the argument of all the sources that you borrow. So just sort of keep that in mind. So we're going from an outline that's sort of a visual um, reminder of what the structure of this analysis essay could look like. And then you've got the 5-2 assignment right here, first draft, and we've got the overview and the prompt. Follow this super closely. The overview. The ability to communicate a message through writing is essential in any career. Write prompt. You will build upon the outline that you developed um, and go back and look at my feedback that I gave you in week three, right? You can even use some of the work in week four, obviously for your introduction. Summarizing the text with a thesis is really like, is, is the beginning of building an introduction paragraph. So take the outline from module three and the summarizing and thesis statements from module four and let that be the beginning of your draft. So yes, we can use some of the prior writing assignments um, to, to structurally build a sound draft. Introductions of essays where readers learn what your essay is about. You give us a little bit of background. Don't overdo it. Save the majority of your data for body paragraphs. Provide an overview of the work you've analyzed. Describe the main points and then your argument. Was this well written? Was this not well written? Was this focused on the wrong audience? Whatever argument you've got, it's usually the last sentence of your introductory paragraph. Okay, there may be multiple reasons why you feel. That's why when you, when you build a thesis statement, you structure it based on a series of reasons, X, Y, and Z. Start your body paragraphs, one about X, one about Y, one about Z, okay? Um, the body is that opportunity to go into more depth. You wanna write uh, organized paragraphs with that T method, topic sentence, evidence, analysis. And all of this should be from 
the selected reading. You don't need outside research for this. This is a short essay. I know it sounds crazy to say, but you know, five pages is pretty short. The conclusion, resummarize the main points and resummarize your thesis, but don't use the exact same verbiage of your thesis uh, that readers may think, you, you know, you are taking too many shortcuts if you do that. So if you rephrase it, it allows, so say I'm outside of this assignment, say I'm writing a paper on the death penalty and I say the death penalty is wrong. That's like, you know, the opinion early on. You can rephrase it by saying, you know, the United States should really consider a moratorium. It's the same thing by saying stop it, but it's not the exact same language. So think of it like that. Draw conclusions. Well, what are some next steps? What what could an audience do to sort of um, take this idea to its next logical placement? And before you submit your draft, please use the rubric as a checklist. Print this table out, print your draft out, and make sure your introduction gives a background of the author, author's name and title always, and thesis. Then your body, do you have multiple? This is what a lot of students forget. Multiple means more than one. If you don't have that, you're going to score much lower on the body main idea, right? And do you combine your feelings with actual evidence from the text, right? In quote, in summary, and in paraphrase. That's what I'll be looking for there. Just conclusion, summarize, conclusion, evidence, and then of course this sort of grammar and the mechanics that tie it all together and make it academic and, and make it flow. So that's the draft. And then you have a 5-3 quiz. You can't get this quiz wrong. That's what's great about it. It's just determined, it's based on your major, what style you use. You will not have to memorize both. You'll just choose one. Okay. And then you have a reading and this reading um, has uh, links to the style guide of your major. So when you click on MLA, for example, you can download this as a PDF and save it to your desktop in the same with APA. You can then refer back to them. Use, you don't memorize the content in there, but you use it as a reference text. You can also use, you know, um, uh, Purdue Owl, University of North Carolina. There's plenty of colleges that have really developed style guides for both for, for undergraduate students. And so if you have a favorite website that you use for that information, that's great. But the majority of your focus this week is just the building of all the pre-writing pre you've done to make you think deeply about the text. But now you're writing a multi-paragraph essay that's guided by a thesis statement that uses evidence from the text, but that explains um, your argument, what you think the author is doing. Let me share one final very important thought. In this draft and in the final, you're not to mention yourself. You're not to say phrases like, I think, I believe, I know, because that makes it look less, that makes your text sound less objective. We know you think it, you believe it, and you know it because you're writing about it. So I could say as a general example, I think the death penalty is wrong. A more academic way of that belief is the death penalty is wrong. It's the same sentiment. I'm just taking myself out of the focus of the essay. So when I give you feedback on your drafts, I'll be helping you with point of view shift and I'll be guiding you. It'll be interesting to see if you can catch it before I do. But either way, you'll get some feedback on this and you'll have time to work on your draft before final submission. So that's the module for the week. Reach out and let me know if you have any questions.